Hello and welcome to a short video about how to make a HP 48G calculator sing or really probably any HP reverse Polish Lisp based calculator. Anyway, let's get started. So the HP 48G is native uh, programming language, well the one that you're able to program on it, is uh, called RPL or reverse Polish Lisp. Um, it's pretty simple to use, it's pretty straightforward, and it's simple to get into. On the left here, I've got a tablet that's just got what I'm going to punch into the calculator, just for my reference. Anyway, it's pretty simple. You press, um, let me find my button first. Yeah, right. You press the purple to the left return, and then you press this set of uh, greater than and less than signs, the French quotes, and you can see that we're now in program mode. So now you're just going to punch in whatever your commands are. So today we're going to code in the first little bit of O Canada. Um, so let's get going. So all, um, all commands in reverse Polish Lisp are done, well, reversed. So you enter the arguments first, and then you enter the command, which in our case is going to be beep a whole lot of times. And you can either um, do a new line every time, um, which will make it neater, or you can just hit space. It doesn't matter. It will convert everything to new lines after. So there's our first note. It's an A. Um, if you know your uh, your tuning notes, uh, you'll know that uh, 440 hertz is an A, an A4 to be exact. Um, and then 523.25. You'll notice that it's not super picky on what whether you use uh, integers or floats or you mix them up uh, it will not even convert them it will just happily keep them in whatever format you give them you give it to it um, so I've chosen to do this song at 120 beats per minute and if you're coding or if you're not coding well sort of coding your own songs uh, you're going to want to go something like 30 beats per minute, 60 beats per minute, 120 beats per minute, 180, etc. Um, just so that it makes it easy to do the fractions. Um, at 120 beats per minute, a quarter note is 0 0.5 seconds. So you can see here, this is a half note. It's for a full second. Um, I'm about to enter a dotted half note, which will be for 3 beats, or 2.5 seconds. And it just makes it easier to do the math. All right, so there's the first four notes of O Canada. Um, to save it, I'm going to hit Enter. And sorry about the waviness in the screen there. Um, so you can see now it's saved into the first entry on the stack. Um, we want to play this more than once and edit it, so we're going to enter a name for it. So we're going to hit this single quote button. We're going to give it a name, O Can. Uh, where's the end? There it is. Oops. And then we're going to hit the stow button for store. Nope. We're going to undo the uh, alpha numer or alphabet uh, entry, and then we're going to hit the stow button. And you can see it's disappeared. I've got my var toolbar up here, so you can see it there. Anyway, to get that, you just hit the var button, and your latest created thing will appear here. Um, I don't know if you can read through all the waviness and stuff, uh, which is not the camera, by the way. This cam this calculator is actually wavering. Something's got something's funky with its LCD. Um, you can see uh, the one that I featured on my channel here. All lang sign. But more excitingly, what we just entered: O Canada. So there it is. I think 2.5 beats is a little too long. Anyway, if you want to change anything, very straightforward. So you um, you get this view up, and then you hit the green one, and whatever you entered, and you can see it's back on the stack. And then to edit it again, uh, you press the down arrow, and it brings it back into the editing 
screen. If I wanted to, I could indeed change the duration of that, but what I'm actually going to do is speed up time shortly and enter the rest. All right, we're at the end of this section. So um, in the actual music, uh, there is a one beat rest after this note that I've just entered. Um, we're not adding any notes after it, but we're going to put it to demonstrate the wait command, which is entered very similarly to this beep command, just without a note. So you give the number of seconds you want it to wait for, and then you type out, wait. All right, and then to save it, it's the same thing, enter, and then give it a name. Um, we're going to give it the same name, OCAN, and then store. Now, on the chance that I have screwed up something, and this is probably how you should do it, especially for longer, uh, longer songs, uh, whenever there's a syntax error or other error, it will blow away whatever variable you gave it, which is a terrible feature. It will put the error instead into that variable. So, in order to account for this, what you can do is quite simply do the green button to bring it back onto the first bit of the stack, and then save it into, call it like temp or something. Uh, TMP. And store. Then we can see if the temp works. I hope that uh, this tutorial has been useful and you'll be able to uh, make your own songs on your calculators now. I'm going to post this text file, well it's not showing, but this text file uh, as a paste bin link or similar down in the description below. So you can go and take a look at that um, if you want a little bit better idea of how it works, if uh, it wasn't exactly clear here. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments and uh, be sure to like and subscribe.